Did you know you can use a iModel hub to connect a model to an iTwin and then reference the iTwin to another model in MicroStation? This is a great way to coordinate between two models in MicroStation. All you need is the MicroStation file. First, you need to set up a Predwise project at connect.benley.com. From MicroStation, you can select the connection client icon and select view profile. Signing to the connection center. The home tab will bring you to your home page for the connect center. Select the project tab and select register a project. You will need to have administrative privilege with your account to register a new project. You may need to talk to your site administrator. Enter a project number and a project name. Select an asset and this can be not applicable if appropriate. Select an industry and type and select a billing country. You may also select allow external team members. If you would like team members outside your organization to be able to add files to the share and connect their model directly to the iTwin. However, you will be responsible for your licensing. Select register. The project opens in the web browser. On the team members, select manage. Use either name or email to add yourself and any other team members you wish to have access. Select a role for yourself that will give you privilege to view, read, write, manage and delete on the iModel Hub. Roles and permission are managed by your site administrator. Click at user and browse back to the project homepage. Scroll down to the Predwise 365 service and select the share tile. Select Browse to select and upload the MicroStation model to the share. Browse back to the project home page. Under iTwin service, select the iModel Manager tile. Select Create iModel. Give the iModel a name and description. You can change the cover for your iModel and identify the area. And select Create. Go back to the iModel tab. From the three dot, select Connection. Select Create Connection. Select iTwin File Service and select Next. Select the MicroStation model and select Next. Again, select the MicroStation model and select Next. This screen indicates the files will be processed 
with the MicroStation connector, which is correct, so select Next. Give the connection a name and, if desired, set a schedule for synchronization. Never will allow you to sync manually whenever the MicroStation model is overwrite in the share. Select Create. Select the connection and select Synchronize to sync manually. The synchronization will be queued up and may take a few minutes depending on the queue and the size of the file. Once the file has processed successfully, you can close the connection center. In MicroStation, select the Collaborate tab. Select Associate Project to Workset in order to link this workset with the new ProjectWise project. Select Browse. If you have a number of ProjectWise projects, you may use the recent filter to find the new project. Select Associate. Select OK. We can display the iModel just create. From Collaboration Group, select Open iTwin. Select iTwin and select Change. From last change, click Create a Name Version. Type a name and a description. Click Create. Select the name version and click View. The I model is loading. Select the I model you want to display and click Open I model. This open the I model in the design review. Here you can rotate, zoom in, zoom out, and more. Close the design review and continue with MicroStation. We can continue selecting the attached iTwin icon. Select the iModel Create Early. Select the MicroStation model to attach and select Attach. The MicroStation model is now attached to your DGM file for coordination. It will appear in the reference dialog and can be displayed on or off. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.